Hey everyone, it's Julianne here and welcome back. Today I'm part of a video hop where myself and other designers will all be participating in order to celebrate Sabrina over at Scrappy Tail Crafts, who just hit 3,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. How amazing is that? Make sure to visit all of the videos in this hop and leave some crafty love down below in the comments for your chance to win some truly amazing prizes. All of the information for this hop will be listed down below in my description box. And in order to celebrate, we are all going to be creating some fun slimline cards. And for my video today, I'm going to be showing you how I created this fun and cheerful rainbow slimline using the cute new gnome images that Trinity Stamps now offers. The supplies I'm going to be using today include the 6x9 slimline stripe stencil set, the Make-A-Wish Just For You, Hello There, and the Bright Side stamp sets. Now each of these gnome stamp sets do have coordinating dies, but I'm not going to be using them today. But I will be using the Slimline Card Series Stitch Card Panels and Windows Die Set. So let's get started. I started out my card today by using the Slimline Card Series Die Set that you see here, and I ran that through my die cutting machine with both some white and black cardstock. The white cardstock is going to be my background where I will be doing all of my stamping and the black cardstock will act as a mat between my background and my ink blended panel. For my card, I'm gonna be creating a large scene with all four gnome images. I love each one of these gnomes and I knew I wanted to create a card using each one of them. In order to create my scene, I'm gonna be laying out each of my stamps onto my background panel, messing around with the placement for each of them before I actually do any stamping. When it comes to creating scene cards, you need to decide which one of your images you want to look as though they're in the front and which ones you want to look as though they're in the back. The ones that you decide that you want in the front of your scene, those are going to be the images that you end up stamping first. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be stamping the Hello There stamp set as well as the Bright Side stamp set first. Once I have those all stamped out with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, since I do plan on doing some Copic coloring, I'm going to mask them off. And then I'm going to position the Make a Wish as well as the Just for You stamp set and then I'm going to be stamping those over the mask. Once I peel back my mask after I'm done with all of my stamping, you will see that the scene looks as though the first two gnomes are in front of the second gnomes that I end up stamping. So I'm just gonna continue to stamp and mask off my images and I'll be right back. Once I have all of my stamping done, it's now time for my favorite part when it comes to scene building and masking. And that's the part where I finally get to peel back all of those masks in order to reveal the scene that I've created. I just absolutely love this part. It is so satisfying. If you haven't had a chance to create a scene card, I truly do recommend it. It's really a great way for you to extend your stamps and to even use multiple stamp sets like I did today in one card. Now anywhere where my stamping lines don't match up due to the mask when I was stamping, I just like to take an EK success pen and I just draw in any of those missing areas. Next I'm going to start in on my Copic coloring. I have definitely been on the rainbow train lately in some of my cards. I have plenty of rainbow inspiration in past videos if you are interested. And this past week I did share a card using the Bright Side Gnome. But instead of coloring in those sunflowers that he's holding in his hand, 
and the normal yellow color combinations, I decided to color each of those petals in the sunflowers in rainbow order. I absolutely loved the way that it turned out. So when I started creating this card, I knew I wanted to do the same rainbow theme, but I wanted to extend it onto all four gnomes. There is definitely a lot of coloring in this video and I have sped it up so that this video isn't any longer than it already is. But if the coloring process isn't something that interests you, please feel free to skip ahead to about the eight minute mark. But if the coloring does interest you and if you've been here before, then you already know that I'm going to be starting out with my lightest color for all of my color combinations today. And I'm going to be adding that color to my background panel, which is made out of Expressit blending cardstock since I am doing Copic coloring. If you are a huge Copic colorer like myself, then this cardstock is specifically meant for Copic coloring. I know that it is an investment for sure, but it has definitely changed my coloring. But anyways, back to the card. I'm going to be starting out with my lightest color, working my way to my darkest shade, adding in the depth and shading to each one of my images before heading back down to my lightest shade to blend everything together. I will make sure to have all of my marker caps off to the side in case you are interested in any of the colors I'll be using today, and I'll be right back. Now with all of my coloring complete, I'm now gonna start working on creating my ink blended panel. To create that panel, I'm going to be using the six by nine slimline stripe stencil set. And I have temporarily adhered that stencil down to my work surface using some washi tape. And I'm going to be using my Trinity Stamps blending brushes along with some of my Distress Oxide inks for all of my ink blending today. I am going to be doing the stripes in rainbow order in order to match the coloring that I just completed. And I'm going to be starting out with picked raspberry, and I'm going to be adding that color to the center of my panel. In order to make sure that each color is only added to the one stripe, I'm going to be using some additional washi tape in order to mask off the stripes that are to the right and to the left of the one that I'm currently working on. The other colors of Distress Oxide inks that I will be using today include Candied Apple, Wilted Violet, Carved Pumpkin, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, and finally, some Salty Ocean. I am going to be concentrating all of my ink blending coloring to just the outside edges of my panel. Since I am going to be covering up majority of this panel, I'm not too concerned about how the center area is going to look. So I'm just going to continue to ink blend in those last few stripes, and then we're gonna work on assembling the rest of my card.
Now with all of my ink blending done, I'm just gonna peel back that stencil in order to reveal the rainbow stripes that I've created. Next, I'm gonna start working on assembling everything together. And to start out, I'm gonna be adhering my colored panel using some liquid adhesive. And I'm going to be adhering that down to the piece of black cardstock that I used the card panels and windows slimline dies to cut out earlier. Once I have that all adhered, I'm then going to be adhering that down to my ink blended panel. But this time, instead of using liquid adhesive, I'm going to be adding some dimension to my card. And for that, I'm going to be adhering that down using some foam adhesive. That's gonna give my card just that little bit of added dimension that I love. But before I adhere that black panel down, I'm gonna be trimming off a little from each side of my ink blended panel. I ended up accidentally having some of that salty ocean where it wasn't supposed to be while I was ink blending. So I'm just gonna be using my Tim Holtz trimmer to trim a little bit off of each side. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm then going to be adhering my background panel down. Finally, to finish off my card, I'm just gonna be scattering some Silver Lights confetti mix from Honey Bee Stamps throughout my background. And once I have all of those adhered, that's gonna complete my card for today. I just love the way that this card turned out with all the bright and cheerful colors, and I really hope that you did too. I want to thank you all for stopping by and spending some time with me today. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe for even more card making ideas. If you are interested in any of the supplies I used today, they will all be listed and linked down below in the description box. Make sure to visit that description box as well for all of the details regarding this video hop. Make sure to visit all of the designers' videos who are participating today in order to win some truly amazing prizes. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting!